when we were doing it, you were a straight criminal. When, when we first started in the 80s, there was no paint shops. You couldn't go get designer paint. You went and stole Krylon and Rust-Oleum from wherever you could get it. I was just a strict bomber. I didn't, I didn't do anything artsy. It was just all slap tags, bombing, getting up. And it's, it's kind of like, it's weird because you want the fame, but you don't want the fame. Because you wanted it because around, amongst your peers, you were like, oh shit, look. Because they knew who you were. It was all just for graph riders. It wasn't for anybody else. It wasn't, I, I could care less what the dude in the suit and tie was doing. You know, I could care less about what the rollerblade kids were doing. And, you know, every time I wrote my name, it was for other graph riders. You know what I mean? When I met Rock, Rock and Jam, they, they were more, they, they were best of both worlds. Those dudes with bomb and peace. It's like, cool, it's cool that you're getting up everywhere, but do something, you know? Do something, man. I think you have to evolve, you know, to stick around in the scene. You know, just like Ice-T said fuck the police and, and hated cops, and now he plays a cop on TV. You know what I mean? And he still has the utmost respect from his peers because he now he has longevity. He's, he's, he's continuing to be an entertainer. Same thing with the graph writers. Good for them is we just, we're trying, I'm trying to reach out. Rock's trying to reach out. We're trying to, we're trying to hit the kids in the right way about graffiti. And it's not even graffiti anymore. Like, I swear, that's what I trip out on. Like when you get on Facebook and you see these big elaborate pieces and you see all this stuff, that's not graffiti anymore. That's, that's urban art. That's just art. It's just beautiful, beautiful art coming out of a spray can.